about uh, is snowfall totals and what a great difference there are across the area. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be impossible to measure this stuff when the wind picks up. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about how we're going to know what kind of totals really develop here. Yeah, you know, that's a very important point, and it is very difficult to get uh, accurate totals when you've got a lot of wind, and the wind is only going to increase into tomorrow morning. Already we're seeing winds gusting to 30 miles per hour across a lot of the 95 corridor, and that's only going to step up overnight tonight. Take a look at the amount of snow that has fallen already uh, across southeastern PA in particular, central northern Jersey, also here in northern Maryland. That's where we've had several inches of snow, and there are pockets in there of more than eight inches of snow. That is so far, but the low pressure is now just beginning to develop, and this is a visible satellite loop, so this is basically a series of photographs run one past another to make a movie, and I want you to notice these striations right here. These are called gravity waves, and we've got a significant disturbance developing, which is very much like throwing a big rock in a pond, and it's developing these ripples as a result, showing you the level of disturbance that's occurring right now, and also what we're seeing is a sharpening up of this banding that is now across parts of southeast PA and into New York and also into southern New England. That's another thing that happens when you get a stronger area of low pressure. There's the band right there, and that stronger area of low pressure is pulling in more warm air in the mid-levels, which is colliding with the cold air, which is dropping down from the north and from the east, and as that boundary sharpens up, we see more definition in the snowfall, and we see heavier snowfall. So that's going to continue to sharpen up. This is the model depiction of that. We'll find moderate and in some cases heavy snow off and on up and down the 95 corridor through tonight. Then it begins to thin out in Philly and D.C. overnight, but continues, guys, in New York and Boston right through tomorrow morning. And in Boston, it's going to be accompanied by a lot of wind. Yep, certainly. And hey, Carl, Maria just got some liquid to snow equivalents here that we're supposed Yeah, Philly, uh, 0.17 inches of liquid equaled 3.5 inches of snow. That's about 20 to 1 ratio. Fluffy snow out there. Blowing, blowing, fluffy mm -hmm. snow. Stay with us.